Hello my freaky darlings. It's been a long time I know so I thought I'd better whip downstairs here quickly and just do a bit of an update video because you're probably wondering where I've been. Um, so yeah, I'll try and make this short and concise. What happened is I crashed the family car and it really put us in the poop. So um, yeah, I went through a bit of a downward spiral and I felt really, really bad because um, our money situation before I crashed the car was bad enough and then I crashed the car and at that point we were unable to afford insurance. So yeah, it uh, meant that we were really tight, freaking out. So I put up the, uh, the campaign on Give a Little New Zealand, which is sort of like um, GoFundMe. Uh, and I've been trying to do things to raise money, I've been trying to sell prints and paintings and then they went into shit because my printer failed and uh, to come through on the quality they promised and anyway, it was just, ah, <laughs> it drove me crazy. So yeah, I just was not up to recording and making a video on top of everything and the editing and everything and I just... Yeah, I put it all aside and just needed some time. And then on top of that, about three days after the crash happened, I came down with the flu. And that lasted a really long time because my immune's pretty screwy with the Crohn's disease that I have and the medications I have don't help because they, um, yeah, they make my immune worse. So <laughs> that's kind of... Uh, the general short story. Uh, okay, so just a quick update really on what I've been up to, the things that have been going on in my headspace lately. Um, well, I haven't been painting at all. Um, it's still sitting over there unfinished. It's like this far off being finished, so I really need to get that done. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I've been getting into things like my spirituality because I needed to just calm my brain down and get back to a state where I was feeling a little um, less jittery and, and a little bit more on top of things. So <laughs> I was looking into my spirituality and I have also contacted my auntie who lives in Australia and she has studied our genealogy on my father's side. Um, back to the late 1600s and I've been looking into that and she's been helping me and I found out that some of my very early ancestors were Celtic which I sort of pretty much knew anyway I knew I always had Scottish and English um, blood as well as some French so going back to the Gauls and whatnot uh, so that was really interesting and then I also wanted to uh, get some more ritual in my life because I've just been feeling that I've been really missing that uh, sort of aspect of who I am and, and just having that moment where you connect to what's around you and connect to your inner self and all of that. So I was looking into Druidry and I was reading about a course that the OBOD, O-B-O-D, uh, it's the Order of Bards of Eights and Druids in the US, and I think there's another one in the UK, but I forget the acronym. Um, they do a course on becoming a bard, um, that's the first grade, and then you go to the Ovate, and then finally the Druid. Um, but I was really interested in bard, because that's where all your creativity, and your art, and your music, and your performance, and storytelling, and poetry, and it's just, yeah, really like yeah it gets me excited and passionate so that was really cool and I was like oh I need to get into this so I've been trying to figure out a way to do it but uh, at this point it's a bit too costly for me to be able to do but I have contacted some of the druids um, and people in the Obod order in New Zealand and uh, made some contact and I had a Skype call with a, a druid up um, in the North Island the other day and that was really um, quite neat meeting other people. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can work out a way to do that. My friend Alice also may want to do it with me, so that's really cool. Um, and it all sort of lines up with uh, the Celtic ancestry as well. So it was all just kind of felt like it was chinking into place, which was really neat. And I also had a really strong inclination to get back into Celtic music, um, which is kind of funny being a goth, but I still really like the music. And I... I um, I do like to listen to Celtic music when I'm drifting off to sleep and when I'm relaxing and I've always loved it and I even like some of the really um the sort of the nice folky Irish tunes that you get around St Paddy's days and pubs and stuff like that um, but yeah I felt this real leaning to want to learn how to play an Irish instrument in that sort of folky way and I chanced across a site that was talking all about penny whistles and Irish flutes and different um, wind instruments 
and the Irish flute is way beyond my price range and I'd love to be able to play that one day. Um, but I figured out that if, if I learned the penny whistle, which also has a really beautiful sound, I could uh, get that for a very cost effective means and ways and learn how to play it, which is really cool. So um, anyway, I was, <laughs> it was really funny because I was talking to a friend Kathleen on the internet and she lives in the US and she's a musician and she actually plays um, penny whistle and various other instruments um, and her husband's a composer and stuff and I was like oh well that's really cool and we were talking about it and then she says well I've got a, a penny whistle here I'm not using I'll just send it to you and I was like whoa so she was like cool so I'm getting a free penny whistle sent in the post which is amazing so thank you Kathleen if you've ever seen this really blew me away um, just really cool uh, so yeah what else what else uh, oh we managed to get a new car um, my grandma from up north, totally out of the blue, sends me a belated birthday card um, with a cheque for 500 bucks in it and I was like whoa! So <laughs> we were able to get a new car which was just really amazing. Everything was just sort of coming right. I've still got a massive insurance bill to pay because the guy that I crashed into, uh, his car was all like mounted on the the passenger door on the front and yeah but we have to pay for his insurance because I wasn't covered so that sucks but anyway on our new car we've got full comprehensive so I'm really thrilled about that <laughs> big relief uh, what else what else um, oh, I've been studying when I was down with the flu I tend to read and study and, and do things to keep my mind occupied um, and I started reading all about the uh, Asad true uh, religion uh, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but yeah, you're basically um, your Nordic sort of Norse gods and your Norse religions and that, which brought me back to um, studying the elder uh, Futhark runes, which I was really interested in uh, many, many years ago. Not um, so into the divination side of things, but more as a tool for meditation to look at different parts of your own world, your experience and your own psyche. So that was really cool. So I've been learning about the runes. I might actually put some info up on my blog. I'm not sure at this point. Uh, what else? What else? That's about it. I think that's everything I need to get you back to date with. Um, so yeah, big apologies for not being around. And I will really endeavour to be a little more frequent with my postings. Uh, yeah, there's, there's quite a few videos I want to make coming up. Um, Mama Bat did another community video with a question of what we thought about unity and equality. Uh, so I thought I might respond to that at some point. Um, yeah, that's about it, I think. Um, oh yeah, I'm selling some leggings um, to New Zealand customers. So if anyone in New Zealand watches this, I've got a few leggings for sale. But um, yeah, that's about it. So <laughs> yeah, I think I'll leave it there. That's yeah, I was speaking pretty fast, but I just wanted to get this done because I knew that, you know, if I didn't come down now and just quickly get it out of the way <laughs> before I rush upstairs and cook dinner for everybody, uh, it just would get put off for another day and another day and another day and I'd never get this video uploaded. So it's done now. Excuse that I rushed it. Enjoy your shadows. I'll see you next time. Bye.